Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSI net exam is quite near and you all must be revising your concepts. You all must be doing your revisions for the exam. Now here I am to discuss an effective way so that you can make your revision more effective and that can be more productive for the exam point of view, right? So uh, what I often hear from students that sir, when I study a certain topic, I forget it. Uh, once I leave that topic or let's say if I'm studying organic chemistry and when I switch it to or when I switch to inorganic chemistry at that time I forget whatever I studied from the organic chemistry. So this happens and this is how our mind is made to work. So the human brain actually works like that only. So uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, like we have to perturb our mind in such a way that it works according to our need because in the next two months we have exam. So we need certain methods so that we don't forget the things, right? Uh, we uh, whatever we revise or whatever we study, it should retain in our mind. So that's what I'm going to discuss in this video. So do watch this video till end. And if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing it. Now let's continue with the video. Let me first of all tell you that how actually your brain works because that will make it easy for you to understand what exactly you have to do with it, right? So see human brain is uh, is designed in such a way that it focuses on something which is more important. So let's say when you are studying organic chemistry, your mind is considering that, okay, fine, organic chemistry is important for me. Let's remember whatever this person has studied the whole day. But the next day when you switch it to inorganic or physical or any other topic, your mind considers that now whatever you are studying is more important. Whatever you studied yesterday was of no use or was not of that importance and that's why it fades away. And as the time or as the day passes by, let's say after three days of uh, revising organic chemistry, you will forget more uh, from the organic part, right? Because your memory slowly fades away and that's what happens and that is actually how we have evolved because our brain is developed in such a way that we have to focus on what is currently more important. That's why evolution and all the other things has happened. So let's forget that. Let's come to the point that how we can actually work with it for the exam point of view. So see, it's very simple. The technique which I'm going to tell you today is called as active revision or active recall uh, uh, technique. So what happens over here as the name suggests, you have to recall the things, okay? So let's understand it with an example, okay? Uh, let's say that uh, yesterday you studied uh, solid state chemistry and today you have to study coordination chemistry. Now it will happen that you will uh, like as soon as your time for your revision start or whenever you are sitting for your revision, you just started from your inorganic chemistry or whatever uh, coordination chemistry you started from there, right? But that's where you are doing mistake, okay? You have to recall whatever you did yesterday. So let's say yesterday you studied solid state chemistry. So before going for uh, coordination chemistry, it will take, for the first day, it will take a little bit of time. But whatever you revised yesterday, whatever you did in the past day, just recall it once, okay? Just give it a, uh, like, just give it a thorough revision, just a thorough kind of revision, just quick revision, so that it just get recalled, okay? And then, uh, like, uh, re uh, revise the new topic as well like coordination was the today's topic so that also is added now let's say tomorrow when you are going to sit and let's say tomorrow you have to study uh, let's say uh, organic spectroscopy so when you are revising organic spectroscopy you have to recall both of them like you have to recall uh, solid state chemistry also and you have to recall coordination chemistry also so what you are doing actually is daily you are reminding your mind that uh, you don't have to forget what we studied yesterday that was also important so that's why you are reminding your mind ki you are recalling the things right so in that way uh, you will remember the things much effectively like your mind will remember it that okay fine whatever was done yesterday is not of no use actually the person needs that also so let's remember that also and see slowly like when you start it let's say fr let's say from today onwards you have started it so when you will start it initially it will be a little bit problematic because uh, whatever you will revise yesterday's that will take a little bit of time of yours for today also so you might think you uh, if daily i will do that at the end of let's say one week or two week or 20 days there will be so many topics to revise but uh, you have to understand it this way that when daily you are recalling solid state chemistry, let's say from yesterday you have studied solid state chemistry and you are re revising it daily, daily, daily. By the end of 20 days, you will actually don't have to look for the notes also properly. Like you will just do a thorough revision. You will just uh, just 
you will just change the pages and you will remember all the things because you were revising it for the past 19 days so it will be there in your mind and at the end when the exam will approach the topics which you have given more revision that will be like that will be like that is going to stay in your mind for longer time and in that we will never forget it okay so i guess you already know you are not kids now you all are uh, mature enough to understand this that what exactly you have to revise and what not to revise so from physical chemistry you have to revise all the like all the formula and from inorganic chemistry you have to revise all the concepts basic concepts whatever they are and then from organic chemistry also you have to understand or you have to revise the concepts or reaction mechanisms or whatever thing you remember from there okay uh, in the upcoming videos when i will upload in the next few days i'll uh, i'll explain that how much or how to basically balance revision and practice okay so how to practice and how to revise and how to balance both the things these things we will do in the upcoming days but for now this active uh, recall technique or active revision technique you have you can like if you think that it is going to work for you you can uh, like you can continue doing it i have done it when i was in class 11th or 12th because that time i was not aware about that what this technique is exactly called but what i used to do is let's say uh, when let's say today i have studied certain topic uh, and in evening when i'm doing anything and when i'm doing anything let's say when i'm eating food or when i'm doing any anything which is not uh, from the study perspective any other thing in that time in the mind itself i'm revising that thing okay whatever formula or whatever concept i have studied i'm just revising it so that my minds keep on rolling it in it and that's why i remember it for the next time okay so uh, i was not aware that what this technique is called but yeah i was using it uh, since my uh, like since my uh, class 12th or uh, board exams i guess so yeah it, it is effective and i got pretty decent marks in my board exam so that's why i can say that yes it is effective technique and you can also try it out okay so as i mentioned what you have to do start from a particular topic it need not to be a, a, like solid state chemistry you can start from any topic of your uh, choice you can start it from today revise that topic today when tomorrow you are starting some other topic just revise whatever you studied today okay so every day you have to revise whatever you uh, revised yes like a day back so whatever you did in the previous days you have to compile all of them and revise them right so let's say on the fifth day all the things which you studied in the past four days you have to revise them like from day one day two day three day four you have to revise all the four things in the fifth day in that way it will remain it will stay it will like it will never fade away from your mind it will keep on rolling in your mind and you will remember that so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i hope uh, whatever i discussed with you made sense and i hope if you apply for this in your revision technique it will definitely help you for your revision so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one till then. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey guys. So I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take an Academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the an Academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes, which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an Academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.